Well, Richard, I could explain the problem to you, but it literally speaks for itself. <laughs> I guess it does. Yeah, this problem has been going on for about five months now. Can't figure it out. What do you think it is? Well, anytime I hear a noise like this, I think of this someplace in the water supply system where I've got a vibration. You've got hot and cold coming up to this faucet. Any place where that water supply constricts, goes through a smaller opening, and you have the presence of a worn washer or maybe a Teflon tape, a foreign object in there, or even a check valve, and you get this vibration noise just like this. Let me see what you got here. All right, down here you've got your hot water line that comes up here. It comes across horizontally. It branches over to the dishwasher and goes up to the hot water side of the faucet. Here's your cold water line right here. And that goes up here to a shutoff valve and it also feeds up into the faucet. Now, Eric, will you turn on the hot water side of that faucet for me? All right, so nothing. So try moving it to the cold now. Oh yeah, just, just shut it off. So it's gotta be in this cold water shutoff right here, Eric. First thing I wanna do is to be sure that valve is fully open. So I turn, oh, there's two turns. Three, almost four turns, I could open it. So now try your cold water side. You hear anything? You gotta be kidding me, Richard. A couple of turns to the valve fix my problem? Well, for some reason, that valve was partially closed. Yeah, I know why. Yeah? I'm the one who did it. How come? Because when the valve was fully opened and I washed the dishes, it would splatter all over the counter. That type of valve is not designed to be a balancing valve. It's really gotta be fully open or fully closed. Let me show you what I mean. Here's the valve right here. Here's the cold water pipe coming from the basement and the supply up to the faucet. See the silver thing right here? That's called a stem. And as I turn the handle, it goes down and you can see the washer, the black thing at the bottom that goes down to the bottom. And now that valve is shut off. When I open it, it rises and you can see the water can pass right through that opening. Well, what you did is you closed that thing down like this. Now all that water has to pass through this tiny little opening right there. And as it does, it leaves the washer the chance to vibrate. I got gotcha. you. We got to leave this open fully. They are now that way. You leave your hands off. <laughs> I learned my lesson. All right. Thank you, Richard. So if you have a vibration in the plumbing system, is it safe to assume that somewhere there's a washer to blame? It's usually the case. You know, as that washer gets worn, it can really start to vibrate like the reed on a clarinet. Mm -hmm. Our principal culprit is this, in a fill valve inside of a toilet. At the very top of this is a washer right there. And after you flush that toilet a million times, that washer starts to get worn and it starts to close. It really makes a loud vibration. Gotcha. Is there any valve you can use to control the flow of water? Well, the valves underneath the sink really are designed to be service valves. In the case of emergency, you can turn the water off to the faucet. So they should be open or closed. If you had to, they do make valves that look like the valve we had underneath the sink, but they're different on the inside. On the inside, this is a larger version. It's called a ball valve. You can see it's a stainless steel ball on the inside and water passes through. And as you close it, you make the opening smaller. But there's no washer in there to vibrate. And you can tell it's open with a quarter of a turn. There's open and there's closed. And so if you want to balance it, you could just throttle it back a little bit. Unlike this valve where it turns about five or six times and you really shouldn't be throttling it down. Gotcha. Well, isn't it true that uh, if a faucet is delivering water into a sink and it's splashing out too much, lots of times the house just has too much water Correct. Pressure. And so if you've got too much pressure in the whole house, you really want to introduce this, a pressure reducing valve. And that's on the water main coming in from the street. High pressure right here. You can step it down to a manageable pressure on this side. <laughs>